Hi everybody, this is Chris Moffitt from Practical Business Python and welcome to a short video demo of the Bouquet application that I created as part of the blog post Interactive Visualization of Australian Wine Ratings. So what I want to do is show how to get the Bouquet app running and then what that basic interactivity looks like. So you can see I'm going to start it by doing bouquet serve winepicker.py. The application spins up and is hosted at localhost 5006 winepicker. And then you can see that it um, runs pretty quickly, gives the data to us, and then um, we're, we're good to go to start interacting with it. I'm going to maximize it so you don't have to see all of that for the rest of the video. But the really nice thing about Bokeh is you get some interactivity for free. Across the top, you have your toolbar, which includes your pan and zoom, your lasso select, uh, wheel zoom, you can save the file. But then we develop some other widgets that allow us to filter the data based on certain provinces. So now we're just looking at South Australia, which obviously has a lot. But maybe we will look at New South Wales, much smaller subset of data. Then we can use our wheel zoom to kind of zoom in. We can also pan and move around. It's all very smooth, uh, works really well to explore the data. And the other capability that we built is to use this lasso tool to select data points. And so once we select the data points, then all the details on the data points show up. So you can see at the bottom here that you can see the price, the points, the type of wine, as well as the description, which is always exciting and a little bit uh, interesting to read. The other point of interactivity that we uh, developed is the ability to filter on certain title. So in the U.S., uh, Yellowtail is a very famous um, Australian wine. We can type Yellowtail, and boom, these are all the Yellowtail wines that are available to us. You saw how quick that was on the filter. I can zoom in. I can look at the details. These are obviously very inexpensive wines, obviously uh, not surprisingly, I guess I should say, it's not highly rated as well. You can select the wines here, see the details. Nice um, way to summarize all the data, get a better feel for what's out there. Finally, I didn't go through, but I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the uh, maximum price. As you'd expect, it filters the data, and you can see what um, price points we're looking at. Always kind of funny to look at these wines. They're way up here. Um, let's see how much those wines cost. These two wines from Penfolds, $850 um, with really high ratings. But anyway, I hope this has been really useful to you and you've gotten a chance to see a little bit more about the Bokeh app. And I encourage you to go to Practical Business Python to read the rest of the article uh, accompanying this video so you can see the actual code behind it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.